What's up, Internet? This is Rambling Josh, and you're watching another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics. Today, let's finish off Ultima. Down... She... He... It... Goes. And... I'm pretty sure this form of Ultima didn't even do anything. She teleported, and she started casting, and... Then she died. Is the ship going to get destroyed for real this time? Because the last two giant energy thingies really should have destroyed the ship. It's apparently a, a run-down ship to begin with, so... Surely that destroyed the ship this time, right? Congratulations! This game is complete! Just in case you had any doubt that that was the last fight. Yes, yes, thank you for the fanfare, but can we get on with the ending now? Hmm. Whose funeral is this? Oh, that's apparently Alma's funeral. So, apparently Alma is dead. What exactly is Farlamp? Is that, like, a fancy way of saying Amen or something? All the bales are dead, apparently. So I guess the ship really did explode, and... Well, of course Ramza wouldn't be buried, he's a heretic. I guess, uh, heretic status doesn't get lifted even after you've... been... saved the world. Wait, Balmafula? I thought she died. I guess Olin is a heretic now, too? How Belmafula survived, I don't know. Wait, Delta married Ophelia? Wouldn't that make him king? Okay, so Delta went from, like... The, the slave friend dude to king. Well, okay then. Use your words, Balmafula. If you want to leave, don't just point. No, in fact, our land dude didn't do any fighting at all. He's just too good to fight. Well, we were kind of exploded. Um, maybe we're not so dead after all. Uh, that's kind of deus ex machina. How in the hell do you survive a giant airship exploding that's floating in the middle of nowhere in, like, another dimension? Not only do you, did they survive, but they made it back. <laughs> Who knows? His name is Olin, not Orlin. And so that is the end of that. Ramza is the true hero, even though no one knows he existed, and everyone that does know he existed, he is a heretic. So, this whole story is being told from the perspective of Olin, and, uh, yeah. Oh, so apparently, even though Ramza and Alma inexplicably managed to survive, despite all possible ability of like, despite being completely impossible. Olin gets burned at the stake. That's just great. But I guess at least the truth got out there eventually. 
Alazam Durai, huh? So I guess that's who's the narrator or whatever, even though there is no real narrator. So, the, the credits. Now is the time where I kind of give my thoughts on the game. And I'm sure I've probably mentioned it several times by now throughout my other videos that I've done, but simply put, Final Fantasy Tactics is my favorite game of all time. I'm, in a way, it's almost kind of hard to explain why, but I mean, there's just so much about Final Fantasy Tactics that makes it really endearing to me. I mean, there's so many ways to play the game, just because you have such free control over your characters and your party. I mean, you can do anything. You can do any number of, you know, class combinations and item setups and ability setups. There's just a lot of freedom. And kind of that, that whole th process of building your party and, you know, finding the right connections of uh, classes and abilities and stuff throughout the game is really, it really just draws me in and makes me want to play and keep playing and, you know, I want to keep fighting because I want to keep getting stronger because I want to learn those new abilities. You know, I played through the game, you know, a dozen times plus by now. And still, you know, every time I pick it up, I just don't want to put it down. I, I just want to keep getting stronger and learning those new abilities. And it's just... I don't know, I mean, there's something about this that's just really addictive to me. And that... Honestly, that's part of the reason why I, I usually choose not to use the hero characters. Because, for one, I, I tend to think they're a little bit too powerful. I mean, even above and beyond some of the ridiculous stuff you can do, like, say, math skill and uh, the calculator ability, but also kind of takes away from the, the feel of building your party from the beginning to be this, like, super-powered fighting force, because you get these heroes throughout the game, and you don't really get the same chance to build them up from nothing that you do with your other characters. And the other thing that I really enjoy about this game is the story. Which is kind of odd because it's it's a very odd story. I mean, it's full of plot holes and stuff, and obviously the translation of this version of the game is terrible, which definitely doesn't help the story. So I mean, there's a lot of things that don't make sense or just aren't explained well, or you have to read the Brave story for it to make any sense and stuff like that. But I guess what really uh, hits home for me is the way the story is presented because it's, I've always thought of it as a very kind of Shakespearean style story where it's, it's very kind of regal and highbrow kind of thing I mean the terrible translation kind of takes away from that at times but it makes it feel very almost uh, I don't know it's kind, of, it's kind of hard to explain it's like it's very kind of medieval drama type thing. It's very, you know, renaissance type of story. And even if there's certain elements of it that don't make a whole lot of sense, it's it the way it's presented really makes it endearing to me. That said, you know, there's of course the uh, the retranslation of the story, which is a bit of an interesting topic in itself because you know, the, the characters' lines and everything, and the, the way the plot's presented, is all changed in a very... It's, it's all done in a very different way in the retranslation. And there's positives and negatives to that. I mean, the story, it makes a lot more sense, I think. There's a lot of little things that make... Uh, are better uh, conveyed in the retranslation, and that, I think, is definitely a plus. And there's also, you know, certain scenes that they add in uh, here and there that make things a little bit, make a little bit more sense or shed a little bit more light on something that you may not have realized. One of the biggest complaints people have about the retranslation, though, is that they change the way people talk to, you know, like hardcore old school English. Like, they, everyone speaks incredibly, like, eloquently and stuff. To the point where a lot of times you have to actually like take the time to reread re what people are saying to even understand what they're actually saying. And in my opinion, you know, I really like the, that style of talking. I think it adds a lot of uh, kind of 
uh, personality to the game, but it does kind of make it a little bit more difficult if you have to like mentally translate what they're saying into you know real English. And the other thing is, of course, that you know they ch changed the way a lot of the names are spelt, or some of the names they changed. They practically changed what the name was altogether, and for the the nostalgist in me, that really kind of makes me kind of sad when you see names like Argath and Foralmav and stuff like that. But in, in the end of the get, bleh, at the end of the day, the portable versions of the game are right. Are, uh, are great too, and I mean, what else is there to say? Final Fantasy Tactics, my personal favorite game of all time. And here we get a little bit of a a bonus scene after the credits. Back in the ruins of Zeltenia Castle, where we were here once with no, we weren't here once with uh, Ovelia. Everyone's looking for Ovelia. Apparently, she ran off. Aw, flowers. Um. What? What was that? She really wanted her flowers, I guess, except they're on the ground. Huh? What? Dolita didn't kill Ramza. Do you just like... So... Apparently they love each other so much that they stab each other in the gut. And now they're both dead. Or I guess Dolita isn't dead quite yet. He'll get there. He's a little slow. What did Ramza get? He got turned into a heretic and, uh, he got relegated to obscurity. And that is the end for real. So, no more episodes of Final Fantasy Tactics. Well, I do have a, a bonus episode planned, but... So, I, uh, I guess I'll see you in that bonus episode. Catch you later.